also in, uh, in India, is that uh, the Jesuits were allowed by the English to work in India. And they were about to convert South India. At some stage, the Jesuits thought that South India was going to become entirely Catholic in the 1930s. A few years later, the new Jesuit mentality came, then Vatican to reverse all that. But they were about to get you know, something like 15 to 20 percent of the population in Catholicism. They had a whole grid all over South India of schools, universities, and, um, and this was because of the English presence, mysteriously, because even though they were Freemasons, for their own sakes, for their own empire, they wanted to use the Jesuits. So they allowed the Jesuits to, to work in an almost much better way than what we saw in other places, uh, which were ruled by the French, especially in Algeria, where the French Republic blocked the conversion of the Muslim populations. And that's why France now is punished by Algeria. But the French government, the French Masons, would not allow the, the, the missionaries to convert the Algerians and the Moroccans and the Tunisians. They would block, they would, they would spend the state money to build mosques. Whereas, mysteriously, the English Masons would allow the uh, Jesuits, the French Jesuits, because they were mostly French, they would allow the French Jesuits to convert the Tamil population. So there is a role which is played by the nation, and the church wants the uh, kingship of Christ. That's also another problem that we have today, is that we have forgotten about the kingship of Christ, and that the triumph of our lady is going to happen by the administration of a nation, Russia. And that it means that the head of state, the Russian state, the Russian government, is going to be an instrument for the salvation of souls. Just like St. Edward was an instrument of God for sending souls to heaven. And that's why the Pope Benedict XVI will never consecrate Russia to make the Heart Mary, because this goes against religious liberty. <coughs> it goes straight against religious liberty. And so the, by this feast of today, the, the Church reminds us that the, the triumph of our lady happens through political means. And it's necessary for us Catholics to, uh, to pray for the conversion of our kings or some kings of the earth because we are human beings and our, um, our faith is dependent on the confession of the faith by the civil rulers. Hence the name of St. Edward, St. Edward the Confessor. He is a king and as a king he confessed the faith. That is, he is responsible for the salvation of many souls. His grace was, it is through him that many souls have been saved. So let us pray to him. Let us pray, pray him to send us again Catholic rulers. And let us pray to him also to, um, to learn the principles of the Catholic city. That those principles do exist. And they are the solution for us to extricate ourselves from liberalism. Now, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen.